So in the last video, we built this trail, which leads into our new road gap. All right, show you what this looks like. So I'll just do the drop first. But I've got some bad news. We need to close it down. Because we just built a whole new start to the trail. But before we jump into that, we got some tools to fix and we got some benching down lower to finish off the trail. So last week I broke the come along. Let's fix that real quick. Perfect. Next on the fixing block is this drill. Oh. Well, I don't think our drill likes this too much. I bought a new motor and I have a soldering kit right here. It's been a while since I've soldered anything, so let's see uh, how this goes. All right, so I got this thing fixed. I have one more thing I need to fix. So we fixed everything we broke. Let's uh, start building. All right, so in the last video, we built the road gap followed by this triple. But we still have some things after this turn to finish up. So right now we're gonna do a little bench cutting and there's a bit of a marshy section down there that we need to fill in with rock to give it a good riding base before we build trail on it. Right now, the thing that we need to do is pack the dirt we threw here after we bench cut this yesterday. And the tool I'm gonna use, because I found that it works very well, is the cart behind me when I load it up with some heavy stuff like rocks. Ah, check out that brick. That's what you're looking for right there. Alright, add this to the tool that I need to fix. So there's no packable dirt here. So if we want to have a good riding surface, we're gonna to have to go look elsewhere. And I know just a spot where we can find some gravel to make this nice and hard. All right, now that we've got this gravel here, um, I think this basically concludes all the work we need to do to the climb. So from here on up, uh, we can head up to the top and start working on the cool thing. So we're in the garage today because it's raining outside and that's actually fine because this part of the project, we don't need to be outside. I'm gonna try to do something that I've seen done at Highland Mountain Lake Park where you use strips of plywood to create structural beams. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a nice rounded arc uh, like a rainbow rail, but instead of a rainbow rail, a rainbow bridge. All right, so here we have uh, what's gonna be one stringer. And what we're gonna do is we're eventually gonna bend it and then glue it into place. There's one thing I've learned from this is that uh, A, glue is freaking messy and I need something to pour the glue with. 
and B, I need way more cramps than I have. Alright, so it's the next day, and I know I'm already going to have to redo this. You know how I know why? Well, let's check this out. So when I went to the store to buy glue, so the first thing I did is I looked for the glue and went straight to the back. And I was looking at the uses, and I saw the things that I was looking for, for exterior use. But yesterday, when I was at the hardware store buying extra clamps, I saw this glue. And this one was intriguing because it said waterproof and exterior use. I decided to take a look at the back of this again, and I completely disregarded these words. For exterior projects, use title bond two or three. So this guy is not gonna work for our project. See, definitely started to come delaminated in here, so I don't know if I didn't put enough glue or whatnot, so I think this definitely warrants a, a redo. Smokey, what do you think? You think it's gonna fail? You don't seem very confident in my uh... She got super spooked when I closed the garage door because she doesn't like those kind of noises. So she's uh, a little stressed out right now. This has been sitting here for about, uh, I don't know, about six to eight hours. So we're gonna go ahead and take out the clamps and see if it holds. Okay, I'm going to set up and do another, but this time I picked up some of these uh, clamps that make this process a lot easier because the thing that I was running into is I was spending a lot of time twisting those things and I don't know if the glue was drying up before I could get it fully clamped, so I wanted to make sure I could at least get the ones on the end set up and straight before the glue dried too much. Um, and at this point, you're probably thinking I'm a huge Dewalt fanboy, or I'm sponsored by Dewalt, which I wish I was. Um, but no, uh, these were literally the only kind of clamps like this that Home Depot had, and they're on sale. So I just picked up a bunch of them, and uh, should make this job go a lot quicker. Yeah, I'm gonna get more of these, because these things are super useful. Alright, so I've let this dry overnight. Uh, it's time to equip this and see how this one came out. Oh yeah, that's not even like... That's not even flexing. I think we're finally at a point where we can start bringing these arches down to the trail system. Alright, so I brought the arches out here this morning and we're ready to get going. So that's three feet deep and luckily we were able to find a little groove between these two big rocks. So we're going to put the posts right there. Alright, those seem pretty level enough so we're going to start filling it with dirt. One trick that I like to use when I'm trying to cut a bunch of pieces all at a similar length is I'll lock it to the length it's supposed to go and just butt up against the edge here and I'll score the board with the end of the tape measure.
Here he's coming with some gifts. Come here and gifts. All right, so we have two posts done. Now we're gonna get started on the last one and we should be pretty close to the end, so. So this stage is actually a little bit of like finagling to get these two things to work together. So uh, we're gonna have to make a bunch of adjustments until it just fits right. I have to thank Seth for uh, these extra long lag bolts. They came in super handy for this. of these things took a little bit longer than I expected, especially like figuring out how to match this angle and this angle. There's a few more quirks than I was expecting, so. All right, today is the day. We should be able to finish this project today. Uh, we have a few more things that we need to do, such as adding a few more two by sixes to help support like the bottom piece over here. And after that, we have to build the landing. So with that being said, let's get to work. Theoretically, should fit about perfect in this groove. Cool. She may not be tall enough. Look at Toad! Toad! Now we just need to do some dirt work. We need to build the landing and build the run-in and that should complete this feature. All right, before we build the landing, I wanna see how much speed we get from this feature to determine where we're gonna place the landing. So I'm gonna do a hook to flat over here and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You landed right where we expected. It feels really good as is. All right, let's build this landing. At this point, I doubt the camera can really see anything. I'm having a really hard time seeing in here, so I think we're gonna call it a night. Um, that being said, I do wanna give it a test run and see how it rides, so let's go do that. All right, so today's the day. We're finally going to be able to hit this, and you probably can finally see what we've been working on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this landing and then give it a few test runs and uh, yeah, we are basically done. This whale tail is going to be the entrance feature for Toad's Road. It's kind of the squirrel catcher, if you will. It's gonna set the bar for how much speed you need for the road yet behind. It 
so with this feature, I wanted to build this feature both me friendly and beginner friendly. So we built this safety case plate for anyone who comes and wants to try sending it who might not be able to make it to the ideal landing. Wow, you do gain so much speed coming off that though, even when you, I'm just barely stopping before the <laughs> drop. <laughs> All right, there's one thing I need to try. See if it goes well. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me while we built our playground. If you like what you see and you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and like this video. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today, and I'll see you guys next time.